Okay, here we are again in Caden Live, working with the same little home movie that we've been working with in a few of the previous videos. Um, so what I want to talk about today is two things. First thing is real quick transcoding. So if I wanted to select a few of these videos, I can right click them. I can go transcode and I have a bunch of these options which are high quality options. Uh, some of these formats uh, work better in Caden Live than a lot of other formats. You also have some common presets like different DVDs at uh, both 19, or sorry, 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 aspect ratios, and you know a few other lossless options here. So if you wanted to transcode, which basically this, like I said, these these formats here, Caden Live works very well with. So if for some reason your formats aren't working very well, that's one option. But there is a better option for most cases and that is proxy files. Now proxy files um, are something you can do manually but a good video editor will have it built in which Caden Live does um, and what it is is basically if your computer is too slow either because your file quality is too high for your computer or you have a lot of layer effects or transitions and your computer just can't keep up for example once I went on vacation and I brought an EPC with me that's one of the original netbooks not a power hungry machine at all, only had four gigs of hard drive space. Um, and I wanted to edit my videos on, on vacation. I was able to use Caden Live on that. This is, I don't know, three years ago. I used an external hard drive to back up and edit all my videos off of. But there's no way that that, that that uh, computer could edit, it could barely play, it could play HD video but barely. There's no way it could edit it, especially once you start adding transitions and layers and stuff. So how did I get it to work? Uh, proxy files, which again is basically it's taking your, your HD, so these are 1080 uh, 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 P videos, and it's going to make new copies of all those videos at a lower resolution, at a lower quality. And while you're editing here in the timeline, it's going to use those lower quality videos to do the editing, but then when you go to render it out, you render it out using the original HD files. So you still get the quality in the final render. So I just want to show you right here. Okay, I'm going to click here and I'm going to drag. This is just an example. My computer's fast enough that I can play and I can have transitions and it does a fairly good job as long as I don't have like multiple, multiple layers of transparencies on layers but even if I just click here and I try to drag through you can see I can it kind of jerks around once we enable proxy files it's going to scrub scrub back and forth in this video a lot smoother and all I have to do which you might come here and right click and you can see proxy clip is grayed out that's just because we have to enable it for this project so I'm going to click project project settings and right here we have proxy clips and we'll say generate vi uh, uh, proxies generate for videos larger than a thousand pixels which these are they're 1080p they're, they're much larger than that and there's two presets here an MPEG-4 and an X264 and you can create your own uh, so I click here and I can see basically what this file is going to be it's going to set it to a 640 by 480 you know, it's going to scale it down to, to 6, which is about 60% quality, or is it the other way around? Anyway, it's about half quality. Uh, you know, it's going to recompress the audio as well and the video to an MPEG, blah, blah, blah. You can click this button here. You can press this plus and create your own setup, whatever you want it to be, and call it whatever you want. I'm just going to use the MPEG settings, but I am going to change one thing. So with the MPEG here set, it, set setting set, clicked? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to click edit and what I'm going to change is the 640 see what this is going to do this is going to make a video that is uh, a 4 by 3 aspect ratio I want something these videos are widescreen so I don't know why it doesn't default to that you would think it would be the default I'm just going to do uh, 360 which actually makes the file smaller which make it move smoother if I don't do that uh, with these widescreen videos I'm going to get black borders on the side of the videos while editing that won't be there when I render it out and it'll make things confusing if I'm trying to you know line stuff up on the video so I'm just gonna change that to 360 and click Save close and click OK and right away you can see it's going to start uh, recompressing these videos when they get a P mark next to them that files done and so a lot of them I mean these are short short clips so it's gonna go pretty fast it tells you right here I originally there were 30 some now we're down to 13 jobs 
11 jobs, 10 jobs, and pretty soon we're going to be have them all converted into proxy clips. There we go. Now, right away when I hit play, oh, well, it didn't do the aspect ratio. Hold on. Project settings. I changed it, and then I didn't choose it. MPEG. Okay. And it's going to ask me here, do I want to create recreate all proxy clips? I'm going to click yes, but I've noticed that it doesn't automatically recreate them, which is kind of annoying. It should be doing that. So if you need to, go into your home folder, if you make that same mistake I just made, and you should have a Caden Live folder, and in there there's a proxy folder, and in there are all of your proxy clips. So that's where they're stored. I'm going to select these all and delete them all. Yes, delete them all. Now, let's go back into here, project settings, do that. Oop. And go back to project settings and re-enable it. And I hopefully, yes, it's going to redo them. So yes, when you make a change to the to the default config, you then have to select that from the drop-down menu. I forgot to do that. I hope I didn't confuse you there. If so, just watch the video again. I made a change in the resolution and then forgot to select that change and went with the current settings, which was not what I wanted. So now, you can see right away, you can see, well, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell in this recording, these videos are much lower quality. They're, they're, they're a third of the resolution and so they're, they're much more pixel. But watch this as I scrub through the video. Look how much more I'm actually getting in scrubbing, how much faster it's going. So even on this fast computer, I can benefit from proxy files. Uh, so it's going to use up a little bit more hard drive space because now you have the original uh, HD videos and you also have the lower quality ones. But the lower quality ones aren't very big and you can delete them when you're done. But it can make a, a world of difference between you know, usability and not, because if if your computer's too slow to, to run this, and even a very fast computer can have issues um, with HD video once you start adding layers and transitions and effects. So proxy files will save you in that. So that's it. I uh, hope you found this video useful. Hope you're enjoying this series. And again, I forgot to say at the beginning, this is part of a series. You should know that because it is labeled video number six. Uh, if you haven't watched the previous videos, be sure to check them out. Uh, check out the links in the description. There should be a link to the playlist if I haven't forgotten that. Uh, check out my homepage, my webpage, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. should be a link to that in the description, as well as a link to my Patreon page, where if you want to become a supporter, you can go over to patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. And there you can, of course, help support me monthly. And if you want to do a one-time donation, there should be a PayPal donation thing on my homepage. Again, filmsbychris.com. There you can search through all my videos from both my channels. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.